Hi, Sandy. Hi. Thanks so much for being willing to share some of your story with us today. What I'm really interested in to know is um, when you think about when you committed your life to Jesus, um, were there any particular people, mentors or occasions that come to mind when you think of that? Um, well, I was a child when I first really remember making a commitment to Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, so probably the most key people were my parents. My own family were really critical for me. Um, but I grew up in a really um, happy and busy, excited mm. Salvation Army Corps. Yes. So I was involved in so many different things. And there was great leaders, great peers, and also, like, I always looked up to the core officers, and they were often really um, inspiring but also approachable people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, initially as a young child, but I think particularly when you've had that kind of growing up in the Salvation Army and in a Salvation Army family, there's ongoing special things like camps and special events. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess I'm one of those people who kind of did everything there was to do in the Salvation Army okay. when I was young. Today we're looking at scripture from 2 Timothy where Paul says, because I know whom I've believed and am convinced that he's able to guard what I've entrusted to him until that day. He reminds us, you know, in this verse that we can be absolutely sure about our salvation. What does that mean to you? The assurance of salvation is kind of a weird topic, isn't it, in a way? But it is something that I don't think about all the time, but I have thought about because I guess I know people who don't really have a strong hope in what's the purpose of life, what's the purpose of being here, um, Sometimes it's easy to wonder, am I really saved? Does God really love me? Oh, I just stuffed up. Do I, you know, does God really still accept me? But I think that's one of the beauties of the assurance from the Holy Spirit that we are loved, we are accepted. Um, it's, I think that there's another verse that talks about sort of working out your salvation. So it's not passive, we don't just except that God saved me and now I'm all good. Like, there is stuff that we do as well. But I think it's, um, yeah, it's a confidence and an assurance that God loves me and God wants the best for me and I can walk in that. Sandy, it's, it's pretty natural for us to have doubts about our faith. So when that happens to you, how do you, how do you cope with that? What do you do? Cara Powell is someone I really admire who talks about the importance of doubt. And she says, doubts are the ants in the pants of faith. <laughs> so we actually need, like, it pushes us to actually think about things deeply. And um, it's okay to have questions. And you, so for me, it would be I discuss it with someone that I trust and know. Um, I like to think that no questions off limits. We can talk about any element of what um, concerns us or bothers us about our faith. So Sandy, you, you mentioned before about needing to work out your salvation. So in a practical, well, yeah, real sense, what does that look like for you? It's a funny phrase, isn't it? Um, I kind of picture someone at the gym doing <laughs> really muscly exercises. But really, it's, it's those simple spiritual disciplines. Like for me, reading the Bible, um, spending time devoted to God in prayer. I actually find reading the Bible much easier than praying. So for me, praying is something I really have to work at because it's not a, a natural and easy thing. So, but I know how valuable it is to spend time with God. I love getting out into nature and the idea of... Um, Yes, yeah, seeing how God has... The beautiful creation God's made for us and I connect with God well in nature. That's another way I'd say is working out your salvation is that service, that caring for people, you know, like... Which is pretty common in the salvos. It's pretty easy to find ways to get out there and love and serve people. So that activeness of, of sharing God's love as well, I think would be another way. Thanks, Thanks for okay. sharing today, Sandy. Thanks, Deb. Thanks, Deb.